Anthocyanin, Wikipedia article audio. Anthocyanin's flower and E slash A Kyanios slash Kyanus dark blue are water soluble vacuolar pigments that, depending on their pH, may appear red, purple, or blue. Food plants rich in anthocyanins include the blueberry, raspberry, black rice, and black soybean, among many others that are red, blue, purple, or black. Some of the colors of autumn leaves are derived from anthocyanins. Anthocyanins belong to a parent class of molecules called flavonoids synthesized via the phenylpropanoid pathway. They occur in all tissues of higher plants, including leaves, stems, roots, flowers, and fruits. Anthocyanins are derived from anthocyanidins by adding sugars. They are odorless and moderately astringent. Although approved to color foods and beverages in the European Union, Anthocyanins are not approved for use as a food additive because they have not been verified as safe when used as food or supplement ingredients. There is no high quality evidence anthocyanins have any effect on human biology or diseases. Anthocyanin rich plants Coloration In flowers, the coloration that is provided by anthocyanin accumulation may attract a wide variety of animal pollinators, while in fruits, the same coloration may aid in seed dispersal by attracting herbivorous animals to the potentially edible fruits bearing these red, blue, or purple colors. Anthocyanins have an antioxidant role in plants against reactive oxygen species caused by abiotic stresses such as overexposure to ultraviolet light and extreme temperatures. Tomato plants protect against cold stress with anthocyanins countering reactive oxygen species, leading to a lower rate of cell death in leaves. The absorbance pattern responsible for the red color of anthocyanins may be complementary to that of green chlorophyll in photosynthetically active tissues such as young Quercus coxifera leaves. It may protect the leaves from attacks by plant eaters, herbivores, that may be attracted by green color. Anthocyanins are found in the cell vacuole, mostly in flowers and fruits, but also in leaves, stems, and roots. In these parts, they are found predominantly in outer cell layers such as the epidermis and peripheral mesophyll cells. Most frequently occurring in nature are the glycosides of cyanidin, delphinidin, malvidin, pelargonidin, peonidin, and petunidin. Roughly 2% of all hydrocarbons fixed in photosynthesis are converted into flavonoids and their derivatives, such as the anthocyanins. Not all land plants contain anthocyanin, in the caryophyllides, they are replaced by betalanes. Anthocyanins and betalanes have never been found in the same plant. Physiological Roles Sometimes bred purposely for high anthocyanin quantities, ornamental plants such as sweet peppers may have unusual culinary and aesthetic appeal. Anthocyanins occur in the flowers of many plants such as the famous blue poppies of some Meconopsis species and cultivars. Light Absorbance Plants rich in anthocyanins are vaccinium species, such as blueberry, cranberry, and bilberry, rubus berries, including black raspberry, red raspberry, and blackberry, blackcurrant, cherry, eggplant peel, black rice, concord grape, muscadine grape, red cabbage, and violet petals. Red-fleshed peaches and apples contain anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are less abundant in banana, asparagus, pea, fennel, pear, and potato, and may be totally absent in certain cultivars of green gooseberries.
The highest recorded amount appears to be specifically in the seed coat of black soybean containing approximately 2 grams per 100 grams, in purple corn kernels and husks, and in the skins and pulp of black chokeberry. Due to critical differences in sample origin, preparation, and extraction methods determining anthocyanin content, the values presented in the adjoining table are not directly comparable. Nature, traditional agriculture methods, and plant breeding have produced various uncommon crops containing anthocyanins, including blue, or red flesh potatoes and purple or red broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, carrots, and corn. Garden tomatoes have been subjected to a breeding program using introgression lines of genetically modified organisms to define the genetic basis of purple coloration in wild species that originally were from Chile and the Galapagos Islands. The variety known as indigo rose became available commercially to the agricultural industry and home gardeners in 2012. Investing tomatoes with high anthocyanin content doubles their shelf life and inhibits growth of a post-harvest mold pathogen, Botrytis cinerea. Occurrence of anthocyanins Some tomatoes also have been modified genetically with transcription factors from snapdragons to produce high levels of anthocyanins in the fruits. Anthocyanins also may be found in naturally ripened olives, and are partly responsible for the red and purple colors of some olives. In flowers Content of anthocyanins in the leaves of colorful plant foods such as purple corn, blueberries, or lingonberries, is about 10 times higher than in the edible kernels or fruit. In food the color spectrum of grape berry leaves may be analyzed to evaluate the amount of anthocyanins. Fruit maturity, quality, and harvest time may be evaluated on the basis of the spectrum analysis. The reds, purples, and their blended combinations responsible for autumn foliage are derived from anthocyanins. Unlike carotenoids, Anthocyanins are not present in the leaf throughout the growing season, but are produced actively, toward the end of summer. They develop in late summer in the sap of leaf cells, resulting from complex interactions of factors inside and outside the plant. Their formation depends on the breakdown of sugars in the presence of light as the level of phosphate in the leaf is reduced. Orange leaves in autumn result from a combination of anthocyanins and carotenoids. In leaves of plant foods, anthocyanins are present in approximately 10% of tree species in temperate regions, although in certain areas such as New England, up to 70% of tree species may produce anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are approved for use as food colorants in the European Union, Australia, and New Zealand, having colorant code E163. In 2013, a panel of scientific experts for the European Food Safety Authority concluded that anthocyanins from various fruits and vegetables have been insufficiently characterized by safety and toxicology studies to approve their use as food additives. Extending from a safe history of using red grape skin extract and black currant extracts to color foods produced in Europe. The panel concluded that these extract sources were exceptions to the ruling and were sufficiently shown to be safe. Anthocyanin extracts are not specifically listed among approved color additives for foods in the United States, however, grape juice, red grape skin and many fruit and vegetable juices, which are approved for use as colorants, are rich in naturally occurring anthocyanins. No anthocyanin sources are included among approved colorants for drugs or cosmetics. Although anthocyanins have been shown to have antioxidant properties in vitro, there is no evidence for anthocyanin antioxidant effects in the body after the plant is consumed. 
Unlike controlled test tube conditions, the fate of anthocyanins in vivo shows they are poorly conserved, with most of what is absorbed existing as chemically modified metabolites that are excreted rapidly. The increase in antioxidant capacity of blood seen after the consumption of anthocyanin-rich foods may not be caused directly by the anthocyanins in the food, but instead, may result from increased uric acid levels derived from the metabolism of the flavonoids in the food. It is possible that catabolites of ingested anthocyanins are reabsorbed in the gastrointestinal tract from where they may enter the blood for systemic distribution to have biological effects. As of 2017, there are no substantial clinical trials indicating that dietary anthocyanins lower the risk against any human diseases. Autumn Leaf Color See Anthocyanidins article Colorant Safety The anthocyanins, anthocyanidins with sugar group, are mostly three glucosides of the anthocyanidins. The anthocyanins are subdivided into the sugar-free anthocyanidinoglycones and the anthocyanin glycosides. As of 2003, more than 400 anthocyanins had been reported, while later literature in early 2006, puts the number at more than 550 different anthocyanins. The difference in chemical structure that occurs in response to changes in pH, is the reason why anthocyanins often are used as pH indicators, as they change from red in acids to blue in bases. Cyanin, Delphin, Malvin, Pelargonin, Pianin, Petunin. Anthocyanins are thought to be subject to physiochemical degradation in vivo and in vitro. Structure, pH, temperature, light, oxygen, metal ions, intramolecular association, and intermolecular association with other compounds generally are known to affect the color and stability of anthocyanins. Bearing hydroxylation status and pH have been shown to mediate the degradation of anthocyanins to their phenolic acid and aldehyde constituents. Indeed, Significant portions of ingested anthocyanins are likely to degrade to phenolic acids and aldehyde in vivo, following consumption. This characteristic confounds scientific isolation of specific anthocyanin mechanisms in vivo. Anthocyanins generally are degraded at higher pH, however, some anthocyanins, such as petanin, P. cumaroyl OAL ramnopyranosyl SSD glucopyranosid 5 OSSD glucopyranosid, are resistant to degradation at pH 8 and may be used effectively as a food colorant. Antirinin, idean, delphinidin 3 O ramnoside, petunidin 3 O arabinoside, petunidin 3 O galactoside, petunidin 3 O ramnoside, Petunidin 3 orudinoside, primulin, polchelidin 3 ramnoside, tulipanin. Anthocyanins may be used as pH indicators because their color changes with pH, they are red or pink in acidic solutions, purple in neutral solutions, greenish yellow in alkaline solutions, and colorless in very alkaline solutions, where the pigment is completely reduced. Human Research Chemical Properties of Anthocyanin Flavolium cation derivatives Glycosides of anthocyanidins Thus, more than five enzymes are required to synthesize these pigments, each working in concert. Even a minor disruption in any of the mechanisms of these enzymes by either genetic or environmental factors, would halt anthocyanin production. While the biological burden of producing anthocyanins is relatively high, plants benefit significantly from the environmental adaptation, disease tolerance, and pest tolerance provided by anthocyanins. 
In anthocyanin biosynthetic pathway, L-phenylalanine is converted to naringenin by phenylalanine ammoniolase, synomati 4 hydroxylase, 4 cumarate COA ligase, chalcone synthase, and chalcone isomerase. Then, the next pathway is catalyzed, resulting in the formation of complex aglycone and anthocyanin through composition by flavonun 3 hydroxylase, flavonoid 3 hydroxylase, dihydroflavonol 4 reductase, anthocyanidin synthase, UDP glucoside, flavonoid glucosyl transferase, and methyl transferase. Among those, UFGT is divided into UF3GT and UF5GT, which are responsible for the glucosylation of anthocyanin to produce stable molecules. In Arabidopsis thaliana, two glycosyl transferases, UGT79B1 and UGT84A2, are involved in the anthocyanin biosynthetic pathway. The UGT79B1 protein converts cyanidin 3 O glucoside to cyanidin 3 O xylosyl glucoside. UGT84A2 encodes synapic acid, UDP glucosyl transferase. The phenolic metabolic pathways and enzymes may be studied by mean of transgenesis of genes. The Arabidopsis regulatory gene in the production of anthocyanin pigment may first be expressed in other plant species. Anthocyanins have been used in organic solar cells because of their ability to convert light energy into electrical energy. The many benefits to using disensitized solar cells instead of traditional PN junction silicon cells include lower purity requirements and abundance of component materials, as well as the fact that they may be produced on flexible substrates, making them amenable to roll-to-roll -roll printing processes. Anthocyanins fluoresce, enabling a tool for plant cell research to allow live cell imaging without a requirement for other fluorophores. Anthocyanin production may be engineered into genetically modified materials to enable their identification visually. Diglucosides Stability Others glycosides pH Use as environmental pH indicator Biosynthesis Genetic analysis Disensitized solar cells Visual markers